In this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite way to make one of my favorite flavored daiquiris. This is the banana daiquiri. <laughs> oh my God, it is really good. Oh, let's dive in. So the ingredients and the equipment that you're gonna to need to make my favorite banana daiquiri. We go for the rum. This will be more forgiving, especially with a banana daiquiri. I'm still going white unaged rum here. A Jamaican funky rum really works with banana. Anything like that, do your favorite rum. Got a banana syrup. I like to go this method because the banana syrup really does emphasize the oomph in banana. And we've got some freshly squeezed lime juice. The alternative way you could go, of course you can, is swapping your rum, plain rum, aged rum, for a banana forward rum, something like this from Cargo Colt. This is absolutely to die for. You could keep the banana syrup if you wanna go for double banana, but you can just swap it out for some plain syrup. Whichever way you like to make things, there's no right or wrong. I like to use, obviously I've got a lot of different rums here, but I like to use kind of syrups. I like to flavor my cocktails up with syrups. It's just a preference that I have. So we've got that. So you can do whatever way you're there. Um, obviously equipment wise, we've got a cocktail shaker. I use a two piece Boston shaker. If you've got a three piece, got a Boston shaker with a little hat on, then you don't need a Hawthorne strainer. But with a Boston, you need a Hawthorne strainer. That stops the ice in any fruit or anything like, like that you've shaken come out. But either shaker, I do recommend a fine strainer because you don't want any little tiny shards, shards of ice going in your cocktail. You want a jigger, ideally with lines in it, so you can be super accurate with your measurements. And remember, cocktails are all about ratios, not necessarily about just pouring and hoping. You nail the ratio, you've got a better tasting cocktail. And a couple of things, just got some proper frozen chunky ice ready to go down there, and another Nick and Nora glass in the freezer, chilling down. Now, as I say time and time again, daiquiris are all about finding your perfect ratio. There's a couple of ways you can do it. I always talk about parts and I use a 10 mil part. Some of you might use a 25 mil or a 30 mil part, depending on how you classify. I do, when I do flavored daiquiris, I do a 5-2-2. Two, two. So five lots of 10 mil and two lots of 10 mil, essentially, so 50 mil, 20 mil, 20 mil. I know some people that do a 2-1-1, one, one, for instance, which will be two lots of 25 or two lots of 30. So you've got a 60 mil, 30 mil, 30 mil. Once you've found your perfect ratio, you stick to it. But I like to do a 5-2-2, two, two. that's kind of where my palate is. So 50 ml of your rum and then 20 ml of this really vibrant banana forward syrup from ODK and then 20 ml of lime juice. Completely fill your shaker with proper chunky frozen ice and then shake hard for a good 10 to 12 seconds. You wanna end up with proper frosting on your cocktail shaker, that's icy cold. Take your chosen glass out of the freezer and then double strain your cocktail. And then garnish how you see fit. I think a slice of banana on there would be cool, but it might go brown pretty quickly. Hence why I always a big advocate for dried fruit. So we've got a dried lime on the side. And there is my favorite way to make a banana daiquiri. Oh my God, that's just too good.